Leonard, good morning. Um, you officially started work at Hull on Monday. What has it been like over the past few days? Uh, at the first, thank you very much for your support because I read a lot of local newspaper and it was really big surprise for me. It's unbelievable support uh, and thank you very much. I hope our good relationship continue all the time. Yes, and thank you very much uh, because a lot of journalists here, it's more when on some matches, Champions League matches. Yes, it, it's, it's a very <laughs> sur big surprise for me. Thank you very much. Uh, we, we worked two days and now everything is good, really. I'm very happy to stay here and uh, everything very professional, very professional stuff. Uh, team ha has the good infrastructure, all components included in training camp. It's uh, very good quality pitches, gym, scientists, and really very professional players because uh, usually when players come back after vacation, it's uh, not 100% condition, of course, but really very professional players and we started work uh, very hard. I, I read interview Michael Dawson about maybe the hardest training session, first training session in his career. Yes, but it's really true and for me I am really happy uh, that uh, all players now in good condition and very professional. It, it not depends on experienced player or young players. Now everything is good and my mood very positive, yes, and I am ready, working very hard together and uh, decide our target. You mentioned Michael Dawson's interview there and, and the, how hard you've been on the opening training sessions. Is that because you want to send a message to the players? Is that because you have standard that you want everybody to buy into from the word go? Maybe one important thing for me, it's a good relationship with players. And uh, when I signed signed a contract with Hull, I tried speaking with everybody. Yes, uh, I spoke not only with Michael Dawson uh, and uh, Grosicki, Diamande, Ryan Mason, a lot of players and uh, really good relationship. I think it's a uh, very help to atmosphere in the team and especially very important relationship with leaders because I, uh, I'm thinking about only uh, good domestic core like leaders uh, maybe, maybe use, maybe very important. Because, for example, I think uh, in Russia, some Russian clubs, it's uh, made some mistakes because when when tried use international core like leaders. For me, it's a serious mistake because for me, mentality only domestic, only British players can be leaders. And in Hull, a lot of the same type players like Dawson, Huddlestone, Lukas, Mason, Mailer. I know that <laughs> Mailer is an Irish player, but now I use it <laughs> as a collocation about British player, not English, yes. <laughs> so this point, there's been no new signings. Do you see that changing anytime soon? Yes, I hope because uh, um, each Negotiation, it's, it's not easy, it's a very difficult process and uh, believe me, now we are very close to, to some players and uh, it's, it's about long players, about uh, by players, yes, and it, it's not easy uh, and of course team uh, who is relegated, it's a, a lot of gossip around with teams and we must first, it's like like speaking only true. It's uh, now finish time gossip about each player. And we had uh, two targets. First, it's a keep a squad. It's a very important because really we have a good squad, especially for championship. And second, of course, it's a loan options and some new players because 
we have uh, some free position, like central defender, for example. I know you're good friends with the Chelsea owner, Roman Abramovich. Is there an opportunity there to perhaps loan some players from Chelsea? Yes, yes, it's possible. We are speaking about some players' loan and uh, maybe we will have information because b b b before our trip to Portugal. And, and in terms of, you mentioned that you want to keep the squad together, but players like Sam Kluklas, Andy Robertson, Tom Huddleston are all being linked with moves away from Hull. Is that likely to happen? Yes, it's not ne easy because um, each player thinks uh, he's a Premier League level, and it's true. But uh, we spoke about this situation, and uh, we must prove we are Premier League level club, because it's not uh, really true. Yes, it's, uh, we are relegated, but everybody thinks, oh, I am Premier League level player, yes, but relegated all together, yes, and I think it's a very good challenge for everybody. It's a proof we are really Premier League level club and promotion this season. Can you tell us the latest with Sean Maloney? Because there's talk that an injury problem has been flagged up that's perhaps causing a problem with his move to Aberdeen. Uh, I, I spoke with him before, or maybe five days ago and uh, we we were speaking about his situation he tried to explain me his position in this question but now maybe we come back about new first uh, negotiation about maybe he's he's come back because now it's a really very strange situation but our doctors, our scientist department, we know him, yes, and understand how can uh, maybe use it's it's not polite what in this situation, but really because we we know all his injury, and for us it's not serious problem. You're, you clearly speak English very well. We're, ah. we're told <laughs> that you only started learning eight months ago. Uh, Clearly, it's not a problem for you communicating with, with the players. How hard has that been? Not eight months ago, only five months ago. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you for compliment. Really, my English is a poo. But, and the last two days uh, was the hardest days in my life because 12 hours I spoke only English language yes and uh, every day we have a two training session yes and a lot of a lot of meeting a lot of conversation with staff with scientists department with assistant coaches it's not easy but uh, all guys very friendly and try help me in my education yes and if i if I don't understand something, or of course, uh, way way try explain me on another way. Yes, maybe more simple sometimes. But really, I think I don't have a really big problem with language and with understanding. And looking ahead to the, the challenge that awaits all this season, the championship. Are you prepared for the length of the season, the number of games, and how tough is that challenge going to be? Yes, but uh, for me, very important uh, when challenge like uh, connect each challenge because everybody uh, very, very proud man, especially sportsmen, especially football player. And for me, very important when each each challenge like uh, like compare with another challenges. Yes, and now. I, I I see situation that it's really true, and it's not challenge only for me. Like my first season in uh, in English football, yes, it's a serious challenge for club, for owner, for players because everybody really disappoint with situation. And yes, I know <laughs> a lot of players and uh, assistant coach 
we have the, the same experience because it's not first time when Hull relegated from Premier League and I think we will use this experience to to our success and I hope we'll have a really successful season and uh, now I'm very happy and I'm satisfaction how each player reaction on my requirements uh, how is uh, working on each training session and yes I think we will have the, the same targets and we will decide the same targets all season what are your targets of course promoted and just finally from me uh, Cardiff City striker Ken Zahor is somebody that you're now being linked with are you interested in him and is a move likely uh, maybe it's a, the, the biggest difference between Russia and English because in Russia we always speaking about each transfer likes silence. Yes, <laughs> but in English a lot of gossip around players. I think it's uh, it, it's not good. Yes, because uh, a lot of gossip and maybe some players ah. Uh -huh listen about this information, maybe change his decision. Uh, uh, we have at least players who are interested for, for our club. And uh, in this list, each player very serious, very talented. And it's not easy, yes, but, but we're working. And when we will have official information, yes, you will know first. <laughs> Leonid, uh, welcome to Hull. I'm Simon, I'm from the BBC, and we've asked our listeners and viewers to get in touch with us to ask you questions, OK? And, uh, and we will like, let you speak some Russian as well. But, OK. Uh, <laughs> just following up uh, on the uh, question Richard's asked you there, how many players do you think you'll have to sign because you've got one month to go before the season starts? I think uh, it will be six, seven players. Uh, we, we have uh, five loan options. It's a, a lot, but it's a, like two sides of one coin. Yes, it's a, sometimes I think, oh, it's a lot, five lone players. But sometimes I think, not, <laughs> it's not enough, yes, because we need uh, maybe more than five. And of course, it will be really good combination between lone players and players who sign official contract long-term contract with Hull because it's really very important because sometimes long players may be thinking about his future not about today but today it's a, the most important day in the football because coach uh, doesn't have tomorrow only today like much yes and each player the same because nobody knows who will be Tomorrow, it's a very difficult question. I think finally it's a six, seven players. Okay, and you've talked about the link with Chelsea. Would you go back to Russia and get any players from there? Do you think? Ah, oh, it's it's really very difficult uh, because uh, first you have a rule about uh, players uh, outside from Europe zone. It's it's the first reason. Second. Uh, Russia ha has uh, some really good players, but his salary very, very huge, too big, and of course uh, it will be very difficult. Now uh, we we don't have some opportunity or one opportunity Russian players, only only foreign players. And uh, and can you tell us what the situation is with your assistant uh, manager, who it will be and when you'll be appointed? Uh, I have... Uh, you're speaking about uh, goalkeeper coach and all stuff? Yes, yes. So who will be your number two? Uh, now uh, we have assistant coach, it's Tony Pennock, it's a pet goalkeeper coach, Rob, it's a scientist man, uh, Ruben, it's a physical coach. Now we have good stuff good assistant coach. Maybe, maybe we will sign one more assistant coach, but maybe, maybe not. It's uh, now, really, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, back to the uh, listeners and viewers' questions. Uh, they want to know about uh, football cliches in Russian. So, um, 
For example, how would you say he's offside referee in Russian colours? Uh, name? Offside referee? Okay. Linesman? <laughs> but in Russian? In Russian. So he's ah, in Russian? Yeah. Offside referee? Боковой арбитр, судья на линии. Why you ask about about offside referee? Well, you know, because it's very important. But now it's a maybe yeah. TV. Yeah. 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 Well, well, don't, it's a don't Confederation get, Cup. Don't, yes, don't it's get a started on the video referee. I'm a referee, so don't get started on video referee. How would you say this is a popular cliche in England? It's a game of two halves. How would you say that in Russian? It's a game. A game of two halves. Two halves, разные таймы. And maybe, maybe you ask me about uh, linesman. Maybe you remember the, the most popular here, Soviet Union. Soviet so, Union. Yes, it's a, about was he from Kazakhstan? Tofik Bakhramov. Yes, yes, I understand your question. Yes, really, linesman sometimes very important here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to know also. Uh, are there any sort of Russian expressions you would use a lot when you were at CSKA that you can tell us? It's, and then it's, translate it's, a, it's a like like prompts on it. Davai, davai. It's a like come on, davai. Vamos, vamos, and so vamos. Yeah. Come on, davai. Yeah. Okay, splendid. And what new words have you? You talked about speaking for twelve hours to the players in English. What new words that you can tell us about have you learned in the last two days? Oh, it says. A lot of uh, a lot of words because it's a little bit in our situation inside the pitch. Yes, for example, uh, for me, I ask how is maximum distance between ball and uh, and players. Yes, it's a, it's a, uh, more close as a possible. It's a, my teacher. It's a, t t told me about this. But now in tough, tough. <laughs> tire, tire, tire. Yes, it's only one. Yes, but I think oh, it's a serious, serious expression. Yes, it's <laughs> a lot of what. But now we we use only one in this situation and like support, support. <laughs> Fine. I'm sure you'll learn many more. Uh, finally, I've been asked uh, um, uh, about um, uh, food. A very popular local food stuff. It's called. Yes, I know about fish and chips. Fish and here. chips. But yes. do you know Yesterday. about a potato and herb patty? Have you eaten a patty? Lots of people want to know this, Leonid. <laughs> have you eaten a patty? <laughs> patty in Russian. No, no. Have you eaten one? Oh, have you eaten fish and chips? Yes, yes, yes. For example, yesterday I, I tried. Uh, Eating fish and chips, but restaurant fish and chips was closed. Yes, it's a, sorry. Yes, but before, when I studied Rivers Down School, it's near Winchester. I tried sometimes fish and chips, and I I know when fish and chips in each place, each different fish and chips. Yes, I will try absolutely fish and chips at the hall. The best are here, in fact. Yes, I know. I know. Thank you very much indeed, Leonid. Thank you. Luke, before we go to the environment section, can you just give us a, an update on Ryan Mason's situation? Uh, now his feet is good. No problem with physical condition. Each second training session when we're running, he he training with team. But of course he has a serious mentality problem because he Injury, it's a very, very serious and area of heat. It's, it was more free time when situation with Petr Cech, for example, and situation with Ryan more serious when with Petr Cech. And of course, we must be very, very serious attention to his injury. And now he has a special, special mask like Peter Czech, the same, and we will try use him on the some part of a normal training session. And this adaptation will be, I, th I think, slowly, but each next step forward will be very important to him and for us.